Niners and Whiners. Yeah, a lot, Esmond. That's me. Uh, up and down week last week, like I said in the other video. By the way, uh, I did an early lines video that you want to go check out because I'm predicting which way some lines are going to move. And uh, depending on which way you're going to want to bet the games, uh, you're going to want to grab those early lines. Winners and winners, by the way, you want to go to the website because that's where you're going to get your premium picks. Get the best bet. Don't, you know, no, don't take my word for it. Don't take my picks necessarily. Go, go you know, David or, you know, uh, any of the other guys are great. Steamroller. Go ahead. Check out the premium picks. That's where you are going to find everybody's best shot as a predictor of the outcome of sporting events at Winners and Winers. So the Tennessee Titans covered again last week against the Denver Broncos. And frankly, they've been one of my best bets all season. Uh, Tennessee is seven up and two down against the spread, along with the G-men. They hold the best, best place in terms of covering seven and two. Now, they travel on a short week. They meet Green Bay at the frozen tundra. And uh, the Packers are riding high, man. They came back, beat Dallas Cowboys in overtime. Well, everybody on the frozen tundra in Cheeseland is thrilled because, oh, the Packers have figured it out. They're back and all the early mistakes and poor play are forgotten. And all's right with the world again and Aaron Rodgers and the man bun. But as Lee Corso says, not so fast, my friend. Uh, the Packers were down 14 points at the beginning of the fourth quarter. The Cowboys should have easily won and covered this game. But their defense collapsed. They were gashed by the run. They gave up big plays on the ground and through the air. Jack Prescott gifted the Packers with two horrible interceptions. The refs also missed an egregious pass interference call that would have put the Cowboys first and 10 just outside the red zone. But instead, they had to go for it on fourth down. They didn't get it, which led to the Packers winning field goal drive. Now. A whole lot of things had to go right all at the same time for the Packers to prevail in that game. They got really, really lucky. So I think we need to slow the roll a bit when it comes to thinking the Packers are suddenly on track. Now, they're only four and six against the spread this season, even with the win against the Cowboys. They take on the Titans, and the Titans generally are not flashy or exciting to watch. They play smash mouth, grind it out, three yards in a cloud of dust football, and that's when they're passing. And they just keep winning and covering the spread. Like I said, they're 7-2. to Top of the league, along with the Giants. Took a while last week, it was ugly, but eventually they pulled away from the Broncos, which is kind of how every Titans game goes. Kind of slow, kind of slow, kind of slow, and then Derrick Henry just beats on you and beats on you and beats on you. And then all of a sudden, in the fourth quarter, he's gashing you. Yeah. Anyway, um, the Titans are catching three points at Green Bay in Thursday night football, uh, maybe three and a half by game time. Sports betting, there's an urban legend that says the traveling team on Thursday night football just doesn't fare that well. But look, all the statistical analysis I've seen doesn't prove that. There's just nothing. Traveling teams on Thursday night football win just about the same percentage as away teams in every other NFL game. <clears throat> and the Packers have two major problems here. One, they need to run the ball for their offense to work, and Tennessee has the second-best defense against the run, giving up 90 yards per game on the ground. Number two, the Titans have a top 10 rushing attack with the aforementioned King Henry himself. And Green Bay has one of the worst defenses in the NFL against the run. Tennessee's going to pound the rock with Derrick Henry. Green Bay is going to struggle to run the ball, which means play action pass isn't going to work, which means they're going to be an obvious passing situation, which means Aaron Rodgers is going to get smashed. And uh, I I'm taking the Titans outright to win here. This is a road dog on Thursday night football that I am calling for the outright win with the Tennessee Titans. I'm Bob Esmond for Winners and Whiners, and I'm making you a better.